Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy as Promo. And today I just wanted to do a little informative video to teach you how you're able to see what is new with every single monthly software update that Samsung pushes out. So sometimes you might see this little screen right here. It just states that the security of your device has been improved. A software update can include, but not limited to device stability improvements, bug fixes, new and or enhanced features, further improvements to performance, things like that. You know, you can see that there is something written, but nothing specific. I'm um, also too down on the very bottom security patch level. It just says, you know, March 1st, there's a size of 383 megabytes. Now, sometimes I'm able to find newer versions of applications. If you've seen any of my videos, uh, I like to go into the phone after the update. I usually like to take a look to see inside of the information to see if the version has changed. Now, sometimes I don't really find anything, but I can actually show you where you can learn every single thing that's new with those security patch updates. So all you'd wanna do is head right inside of your settings, then you're gonna go inside of About Phone. Now, once you're inside of About Phone, you just wanna tap on Software Information. And then from here, you just wanna scroll down to the bottom where it says the Android security patch level. Now, if you just updated your phone and it shows that latest security patch, then you're able to see everything that's new. If not, you'll be able to take a look at some of the past updates. Now on the very top, this is the Android security bulletin. So this is where you'd be able to tap right here where it says read and you can actually choose which device you have. If you have Samsung, if you have another manufacturer, down here is gonna be the Android Automotive uh, OS updates. You can take a look at Pixel right over here. You can just read them. Uh, there's also some Chromecast ones as well, but really we're talking about Samsung today. So you just gonna scroll down to the very first option here and you just tap on read. Now from here, you wanna tap on the phone that you own so you can read about Google, Huawei, LG, Motorola. But here we go inside of Samsung. And now you can take a look that we are within the year of 2023. You can go back to January, February, or March. So let's say that we just go up to January. So with this one, you just wanna take a look um, and read down. Some of these you might have to read between the lines. Some of them, you it might not make sense and some of them they actually do make sense. But this is just letting you know that Samsung Mobile is releasing a maintenance release for major flagship models as a part of a monthly security maintenance release. So down over here, you can see these ones right here are from Google. Now there's no critical updates from Google. There was a lot of them that was high. So sometimes you might read a article that's talking about how there's about 45 plus vulnerabilities or bug fixes. You know, I also use that within my title as well. And then down here, uh, this is going to talk about the Samsung updates. So this one was the one for January. Let's take a look at February. So on the very top up here, you can see that there was some this time for critical, uh, quite a bit of them here for high, none of them for moderate. It will let you know that if there's some of these updates, uh, some of them could have already been included in a previous update. And then a few of these is really not applicable to Samsung devices. Cause again, this, this portion on the very top is these Google patches. And then below that, when you take a look, this is where you'd be able to take a look at all of these Samsung updates right below it. And this is where you can see stuff like secure folder and recents, a vulnerability in phone application. This one was severity of moderate. Uh, there's a, a implicit intent hijacking vulnerability in contacts. This one was moderate. Uh, exposure of sensitive information vulnerability in fingerprint TA. That one was moderate uh, and, and stuff like that. So it's actually pretty nice that you're able to read what's going on. And then when we take a look at the one for March, which is right now. So anytime that you do an update, you're just going to leave it at the latest option right there. Uh, so down over here, let's see here. Google patches include up to whatever. So here's a few criticals. Here's those highs. None of them are moderate. Again, some of these were already included possibly in previous updates. Uh, and then when you take a look over to uh, the Samsung ones, you'll be able to take a look down over here. So use after free vulnerability and decon driver. Don't know exactly what that is, but this one was for the Exynos 2100 chipset. Uh, severity was moderate. This one right here is vulnerability and settings. This one was moderate. And then you can go through if you want to. Affected versions, Android 12 and 13, reported on December 18th of 2022. Uh, private, let's see, disclosure stats, privately disclosed improper authorization vulnerability and auto power on off confirmed dialogue and settings prior to SMR March 2023 release one allows. So basically this is letting you know that before Mar the March update of 2023, this vulnerability was sitting there. Uh, it was reported on December 18th, and then it was fixed with this update right there. Uh, then you also have security settings right there. Um, this one right here is for system UI. 
And this is talking about vulnerability in phone status bar policy. And then as you go to the very bottom, there might be a few of the items in the Samsung Android security update that cannot be disclosed at this time. So it's just, you know, it's, it's pretty fun to take a look at some of these updates. And as you noticed, when we took a look at March right there, when you scrolled all the way down, I gave you the option for February. So if you wanted to, now you can read February and go through it. And then here's January and you can go through it. So really, I wanted to show you where you can go to see what is happening with some of these updates. Because again, every month where there's these updates, I try to find all the differences. I sometimes share how many vulnerabilities were fixed, but this is where you can take a look for yourself personally after every single update. And even though some of this up here doesn't make sense, some of this down here actually does make sense, kind of letting you know what's going on. If you just want to read between the lines, you know, there's nothing that's going to happen with you going to this Samsung mobile security website. Nothing's going to ruin your phone. This is just details of what they just got done doing with the most previous update. Now, the other cool thing that you can do inside of the same menu, which is the software uh, information menu, you know, on the bottom, this is where we tapped to take a look at the website of everything that's new with this update. But you can ask, actually go right here where it says Google Play system update. You can see if there is a system update or an update for your Google Play. And you can actually see right here that there actually is an update. So now I'm going to download it and install it because other than that, I wouldn't even know that it's sitting there. Uh, and so now you just have to restart your device for it to take effect. So that's everything I wanted to show off in today's video. If you guys appreciated it, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe, subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.